Now, Nicky Lopez up to the plate. The shortstop, Nicky. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Pops it up as he checks his swing. Vincenzo pulls it in on the run. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Up the middle, Pena. Now the throw to first on the run. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Andrew Benintendi digs in now. That just one misses. Oh. One and oh. You have to be creative yeah. pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, one one. subtract at times. Just yeah. avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. One Guys ball like this strike. can hurt you with pitches. You would. Two outs, base is empty. Out towards left center. Myers makes a nice running catch. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. And the pitch. Bounced out to short. Gets it to first. And they get Altuve for the out. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Clobber to right field. Way back. Gone. He'll circle the bases. Homer number 25 of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. And here is Gaynor Diaz. They got it for out number two. Jeremy Pena will hit next. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. And it's off the wall. And that's a double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just lost the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. For the second, but he's in there as a run scores. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Line drive. Robert makes the catch, and that'll do it. And we're back. Now it's the DH, Andrew Vaughn. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Gavin Sheets, batting with one down, takes a strike. The Strohs leading by two here at the top of the second. Caught him looking for the K. Here's Corey Lee. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Around first, digging for two. Not in time, it's a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that one result. Strike. Two outs and one in scored position. That one down the line has some trouble with it. The that throw is. is still in time. And they. Bottom half of inning number two. And stepping in for the Astros, Zach DeZenzo. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Here's Mauricio Dubon. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And there's a hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded. No outs. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. Chopped to third. One and second. They get the out with the run 
and scores in the twin kill. So next up for Houston, you're Don Alvarez. He's already homered here in this one. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Fletcher makes the grab. Back here in Houston, top half of the third inning. Now it's the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Kicks and fires. That breaking yeah. ball is in for a strike, and quickly, oh and two. it is nothing at two. Got him looking. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Bounce to the left side. A dive. Nice stop. Fires to first, oh. and very nicely done for the out. Third base, they have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's oh, not dialed in, Chicago. anticipating the something Brooklyn. coming his way, Nicky. staying on his hey, toes every Lopez. pitch. Really nice job to get back up, oh, set one. himself, and make a strong throw ah. across the diamond. Yeah, a big swing no and a miss. Two strike. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Just that misses miss. the, the mark outside the zone. Two down, one, two. nobody on. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that extends the inning. He was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked right. that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it and there's just no Good. chance for the infielders with how hard he hit him. Oh, and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Two outs. Sweeps yeah. through that one. It's a strikeout. <laughs> Bottom of the inning. So now the Astros' designated hitter, Gaynor Diaz. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Say goodbye to that one. It just got out of here. It's 4-0. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jeremy Pena. That one ripped right center field. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Vic Caratini at the plate. Rips that one to right. Drops into the glove. Runner tags at second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Yeah. Jake Myers, the next to hit. That's a base hit as a run scores. started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there I could watch base hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league yeah, just a nice line drive into center field Desenzo in the box now no balls in a strike and a base hit into right center field lead runner makes the turn at second to third in there oh, safely couple of singles back now to back. Back. Just a really Good nice position. approach to shoot them. Two on with one out. Dubon. And next to hit for Houston, now Mauricio Dubon. Dubon. Number 45. Here is Rochelle. That's a base hit as a run scores. That's three singles in a row. Absolutely smoked that baseball. What a swing. Sent it out way faster than it came in, of course. 113 off the bat, and no matter where you hit it at that speed, it's tough to make a play on. Robert makes the grab for the second out. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Hey, yeah. Altuve, a guy who loves the first pitch, that time taking. And it's nothing in a one. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something. There's a swing and a drive. That's down. One hops off the wall. One run is in. Around third. He'll 
will score. Two runs are in. It's 8 nothing. Gets the job done as he brings home the pair. Got a good pitch to drive. Stays short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, with his speed, he doesn't get a whole lot of those infield hits, but he was giving it everything he had right there. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play. Robert pulls it down, and that is that. Back here in Houston, start of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Andrew right. Benintendi. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. No ball. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Right through there for a strike. That one lifted to left. Alvarez heads towards it. Nabs it. And that is that. Bottom of the fourth. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Jeremy Pena. That one the other way. He makes the grab. One down. And stepping in now for the Astros, Victor Caratini. Victor. One for two. Caratini. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Two away. Yeah. So next up for Houston, Jake Myers. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And in one hops the wall. And he's in at second with a two out double. I got my so two down, and now the first baseman, Zach DeZenzo. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then stiffed it. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. And they tack on to their lead. It's 11 0. Well, he went up there 0 0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set. New pitcher for the White Sox, Johnny Brebbia. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per any pitch so far this season throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe here's the Astros leadoff man Jose Altuve one for three swings and blasts one deep to left center and that gets down into the gap around third up an RBI off the bat that one registered at 105 miles per hour man that is smoking and these days you hear it all the time but the swing and bless one down the line it's gone if it's fair but it hooks foul clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball nice job just couldn't keep it fair and that one lifted in the air center field and they get the out on Alvarez Back here at Minute Maid Park. All set for the start of the inning. Now, here is Corey Lee. Sends it to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And a foul ball. That's the third. Makes a sliding stop. Throw to first. It's there. And that's a great play. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Good slider inside right there. Batter oh. fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ball. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. 
Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The one two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two down. Nobody on. Struck him out looking. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Yaner Diaz. Rebia back to work. Last ball for a strike. Well, these Astros doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. Double-digit hits and zero strikeouts. I don't know which of those is more impressive, but especially in today's game, that's something they can feel very good about. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Jeremy Pena. Now a screamer into the outfield. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And next to hit for Houston, Victor Caratini. Crushed to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. A solo shot. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 13-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. No question about this one. It's out of here. That was blasted to the moon. His 13th home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 14-0. White Sox going with a new arm, Jonathan Cannon. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact. That one ripped. And it bangs off the top of the wall. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity this time? Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Coming home, he'll score 15 nothing. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. That's long gone. Their third home run of the inning, and they add a pair. It's 17-0. to zero. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it hits the fence. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off. Ends the inning after they rack. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's the switch inning second Good. baseman, Brooks Baldwin. The pitch. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Mickey. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. They get him, but it was pretty close. And now it's Luis Robert. Man, who doesn't love a sweet bare hand play yeah. like that? That was amazing. Go and one. Right. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. And we're back. Now the batter now, Yaner Diaz. The right-hander back to work. Ripped in the right center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. That one ripped. And it's a one-hopper off the wall, should be extra bases. Runner from second crosses the plate, and they extend their lead. 
That's two consecutive extra base hits for this team. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, boots it. So they're at the corners now. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. One run across, in safely with a double, his second of the day. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be. Base hit, one run is in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the quarters with nobody out. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. Number 60, taking over on the mound. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one in inning, so he'll be tough to get to. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Mauricio Dubon. Hit hard, should be extra bases. One run is in. Headed for the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in. And the lead continues to grow. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags at second. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's what made the difference. Liner, and that should be extra bases. In to score is the runner from third, and they extend their lead. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well done. Drives in the run. Good pitch hard and inside, but he showed off some quick hands, got the barrel to it, was able to yank it into the outfield. Stepping in the long ball threat, you're Don Alvarez. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And that one's gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 25 to nothing. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 51. Short hop liner handled it short. Play is made two out. Two outs, base is empty. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jeremy Pena. Pena. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. It bangs off the wall. And into second easily with a two out double. Man at second here with two away. Stepping in, Victor Caratini. He's already homered in this game. That's hard hit on the line. Makes the catch inning over. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Ball. Just off the inside edge. This lineup is having a tough time right. finding a good rhythm at the plate. Ball, Their ball, swings strike. are disjointed, which tells I me do. they're having issues with pitch recognition. Good Got him strike. swinging. Andrew Vaughn now went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Ground ball left side. Dubon to first. And two away to start the seven. And first offering is fouled off. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for Ah, well, he settles under it in left, and that will end the inning. Back here in Houston, now at the plate, Jake Myers. Here comes a pitch. Big stock center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I mean, come on, have a game. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage. Hit Lopez. One at second. On to first double play. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the third baseman, Mauricio Dubon. 
Lifted to left center. Way back there. And that is gone. So two away with nobody on. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. They go back to back. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they had a run. It's 27 to 0. Back to the top of the lineup. So next up for Houston, Jose Altu. Oh, he gloves it. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Corey yeah. Lee. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, oh, Kikuchi. Into his eighth two. inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, oh, he's two. the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what Three. happens as this finishes. The punch out there. And one out now. Now the third baseman, Miguel Vargas. There's the strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters no early in at bats. He's told strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. And next to hit for the Sox, Dominic Fletcher. Yeah. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh 0-1. And one. Oh and one. On the ground. Now Tuve handles it, gathers, and throws to first. And the White Sox go quietly. Bottom of the eighth. Now the number two hitter, your Don Alvarez. And a pitch. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. It's 28 to nothing. So now the Astros' designated hitter, Yainer Diaz. Swing and a ball lined out towards center, and there's one down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all three. over it. It's Good just job. frustrating when you can't get, get it to fall. Maybe next time off, they'll find a hole. Yeah. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Robert on the move. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Victor Caratini. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Uh, yeah. let's do this. Come your homie. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now here is Brooks Baldwin. And a foul ball. Out to short, Pena. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. So up next for Chicago, Nicky Lopez. Left-hand hitter waits. Yeah. That one's in there. And a count is 0-2. Ball That's one the ball. there. Ground ball right side. Dezenzo oh. steps on the bag, and they're down to their last out. Robert That's now at the one. plate as he swings through strike one. 0-1. Oh Swings and misses. Slider right there. Oh, and I mean, his pitch efficient. Ah, Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.